We have a couple walnut trees, so we get plenty of walnuts most years. However, there's a problem with walnuts, and that's that they have kind of a bitterness to them. But you can make them better by soaking them in salt water for a little while and then re-drying them. So I'm just adding some cold water, add some salt to the cold water, a couple of tablespoons, and then add the walnuts to it, and then stir them around, let them sit in there for a few hours, and I'll change the water two or three times and add salt to it, and then rinse them off at the end, re-dry them in the oven, you can see already tannins and stuff, I guess, coming out of the walnut. I should look that up, but it makes a slightly bittery walnut into delicious sweet walnuts. And you don't have to stir them that much, just let them sit in there. But the bitterness will come out of the walnut and into the water. Okay, so let those sit and soak. Generally I do a few hours and we'll change the water out a couple of times. So this is what it looks like after the first hour, hour and a half. So I'll drain that out and refill it and add a little more salt. Okay. That's round two. Add a couple tablespoons of salt again. Let it soak for another hour or so and drain it out again. I'm going to change the water one more time and let it soak another hour and then I'll put them on cookie sheet and get them in a very cold oven and just keep warm. It's about 170 to 200 degrees to dry them back out. In fact all we do is use the uh, turn the light on and that gets it to about 180, 190 degrees in there after a little while. You can see how much stuff has come out of there. And that's just the icky flavor. And the bitter and yucky. So I'll drain it again and refill it with cold water again and add a little more salt. Alright. Drain, rinsed, and refill. And a little bit of salt again. And this one dish. You can see carefully measured. So let it soak for about an hour and then put it on a cookie sheet. So this is soaking number three and it's been a total of six or eight hours. I don't know how much it really needs, but it seems to do well with that amount of time and a few water changes. So now I'm going to drain it and rinse it one more time and then put them on some baking sheets to dry. Okay, the walnuts have been drained and rinsed twice or three times. And now we just put them on a baking sheet. And spread them out on there. And into the oven. And I'll just leave them overnight. So then, put it on the top rack in the oven and turn the light on. And we'll check it now, tomorrow. time to take the walnuts out. They've been in the oven for 14 hours, approximately, and your mileage is going to vary. Uh, and I think a dehydrator would still be a great way. So it's been in the oven with just the oven light on, which gets it to about 200 degrees in our oven with just the oven lights on. So the pan is toasty warm. The pan is burning hot. <laughs> okay. The walnuts are dry, maybe even drier than absolutely necessary. Oh gosh, those are so much better. But now they're sweet. None of the bitterness left in them. Back to a delicious crunchiness. Wow. 
Those are better than ever. So as simple as soaking them in some salt water, rinsing them a few times, and then re-drying them, and you've got really great walnuts again. And that's all.